Uh, but, Martin Lewis is back now to share his expert advice. I and thought the, the money was the music was for the new tax year, new tax year Yay! party. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yeah, props. You'd be better off. Yeah, bring your lemon. Better off paying attention. I know. To this man this now. is just right. going to be. It's not. Okay, Stop. I'm just going to listen no, to the callers listen. and the concerns. There's information on the website if people want to go and read it as oh, well. Rosanna. Which is good to Rosanna. Read too. Is it Rosanna? Yes. Hello. Hello, Rosanna. How are you? Fine, thank you. Right, okay. Away you go. Ask Martin your question. Yes, hello, Martin. Hiya. Um, yes, I've got some income bonds and I've received um, information that the tax... Uh, the um, interest rate's going to be going down and I just wondered if I, you could give me some advice on where the best place would be to put it. So that's National Savings and Investment Income Bonds. Yeah, they are yes. dropping the rate on a lot of products and s and I. Um, so, a couple of key questions I'd ask anyone with savings, first of all. Have you got any debts? No. Not a mortgage? No. OK, good, because you often want to look at paying off your debts before you start saving. Question number two, will you be planning ever to buy a house? Uh, not at the foreseeable future. No, not OK, no. because the help to buy ISA is, if you are, if you're a first-time buyer, the place to put your money, because the government adds 25% yeah. on top. So let's go into it. Quite simply, then, we need to look at rate. You said £20,000, and I'm slightly worried I'm going to give this same answer a lot today. It's not because I like them in any way, it's just because the answer does come up. It is the Santander 123 right. is untouchable for £20,000. 3% interest, 5% fee a month. Now, some people who... I said... Some of that's given back by cash back on bills, and the people have been saying, what do you mean, cash back on bills? Yeah, I don't really understand Okay, that. if you pay your bills from that account by direct debit, then it will give you either 1%, 2 or 3% cash back on your energy bill, on your um, council tax, on your digital TV bill. It literally, so it that's gives you... It's just an added extra. It's an added it extra, too? it's an incentive, so it will give you cash back. So if you pay £100 and it's giving you 1% cash back, you get a pound back, and it adds that to your account. It's on your council tax bill, so if it's like £3,000... Yeah, you get like yeah. 30 quid which back. Which 1% on council tax, exactly. And that will offset the £5 what? a month fee. And for many people, actually, pays the £5 a month fee. But even if we forget that, and even if we say you're getting 3% interest and there's a £5 a month fee, as long as you've got more than £7,000 in it now with the new tax free savings, it's still the best thing on the market. So you've you're got 20000 Rosanna should swap. Switch your bank account to Santander 123, preferably pay all your bills from it as well to offset the fee, but yeah. there, is, there isn't much that's touching that out there for that amount that of money. OK with that, Rosanna? Yes, thank you for your help. Thank you. Thanks for your thank call. You. Why, was, you. why was the interest rate reduced on the NSI? Oh, NSNI is, is the government-owned yeah. uh, uh, savings body, and actually, in its remit, it can't be too competitive. If it's too competitive, it skews the co commercial co savings market. Okay. So if, they're too, if their rates are too good, they have to drop them to be in line with other savings. I know people okay. find... I find it perverse, but that's yes. just how it well, works.